welcome back to my channel I am Elaine and for those who are new to the channel I am an internationally educated nurse I am currently here in the United Kingdom and I am undergoing the process of getting to British Columbia if you are new to this channel you want to say welcome if you are a returning returning subscriber or you've watched other videos but have not subscribed then welcome back if you like this video give it a thumbs up or a thumbs up um, subscribe comment share and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I do post another video today's journey takes us through the process of getting your assessment done through NCAS which is Nursing Community Assessment Service. Most internationally educated nurses in my experience have been referred to NCAS and there is a fee attached to getting your NCAS assessment done. The NCAS process is twofold. One is a computer based assessment, and the second is a skills assimilation lab assessment that is tied in with an oral assessment. first stage or the first step is a computer-based assessment this computer-based assessment does not have to be undertaken in Canada I was able to undertake my that part of the assessment in London here in the UK it is a group of multiple choice questions and it covers all aspects of general nursing Step two is the simulation lab assessment and oral assessment. This, this stage is combined and this stage you can only undertake this in Canada. Once you have completed the computer based assessment and you have paid the fees for the skills, um, lab, simulation lab, I keep saying skills. Once you have paid the fees for the simulation lab, assessment and oral assessment you can look at the dates available select the date that you think you'll be able to make it to Canada if you're outside of Canada and so you can make all your necessary arrangements um, the simulation assessment is similar to what we have here what we call a OSCE you had two stations for mannequin and two were um, two stations were actors it it mimicked a healthcare setting not only the hospital but also in the community <laughs> towards the end of um i think i had done already two stations when i recognized that oops i did not document <laughs> i did not document um any information in the actual medical records or in the patient's records so you are allowed to treat it as if you are in the hospital or the clinical setting so yes you need to complete the patient record um i the good thing is that i had little bits of paper that i was jotting information on such as the observations or the vital signs and any doc, any paperwork that you completed whilst you were in the assessment, you had to leave that information in. You do get a breather in between each station. So you go in for station one, for example, and then afterwards, once you're finished, you have a seat outside the next room. And so you do get an opportunity to take a nice deep breath. Don't think about what you did wrong. You just think, okay, I need to do the next station and then you're fine. Oh, you're not allowed to communicate with each other. 
um, the other persons who are doing the station or who have just completed um, their assessment. So, in summary, the NCAS is a two stage process. Stage two does have a fee, which is separate from stage one. Stage one is the computer based assessment, and stage two is the simulation lab assessment, which ties in also with your oral assessment. Since I did my NCAS in May 2022, NCAS launched the new triple track competency assessment, which I think is really good for nurses who desire to work within their chosen profession. For nurses, you get assessed to see if whilst you're waiting, you can work as a healthcare assistant or a licensed practical nurse. Some countries will have it as an enrolled nurse or you will be assessed and as a straight registered nurse. When I did my assessment, I had to pay a separate fee to be considered as a licensed practical nurse. So I did not pay that. I just decided to just go for the RN. As mentioned, um, I wish you all the best with this stage of your journey. And if you have any questions, please drop it into the box. This, this is has not exhausted all the things that ties in with NCAS process um, that I went through. But just to say, you can do it. You can do it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell, subscribe, comment, share, anything you want to do. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. See you in our next video.